Okay, next thing we need to know how to do is how to make a clipping mask. Let's just talk about what a clipping mask concept is first. So I've got this photo of, um, I guess it's some kind of celebrity. I just found it on the internet. I googled the word face. So since he's a star, let's draw a star. You can see I've got a kind of a funky star shape pattern here. Um, so what a clipping mask is, is um, a piece of art, in this case a photo, uh, being clipped inside of another piece of art, this star. So when I make a clipping mask, the thing that uh, I'm clipping into has to be on the very top, so this star. So sometimes it's easier for beginners to understand if I put no fill on this. So everything that's inside the star is going to stay, everything outside the star is going to go away. So I'm going to select them both, and then I will right click and go to Make Clipping Mask, and it clips inside of him, uh, or inside the star rather. Now, if you look at the clip group that shows up in the layers panel, you can see that the image is still there, and I can even select it individually and move it around within the star. The star is still there as well, so I'm able to move the star around, or click off, and it works together as a single unit. So that's the concept of a clipping mask. Next video, we'll look at using the clipping mask on our package design.